my name is Bart Murris. I'm a cardiac surgeon working at the uh, University Hospitals of Leuven. Uh, this patient was uh, uh, a 70-year-old male patient who had uh, severe aortic stenosis. He was uh, suffering from quite um, important symptoms, um, meaning he had a, a quite acute shortness of breath during uh, exercise. He had also a sort of angina, which was quite rapidly progressive in the in the few weeks before the uh, diagnosis. Then have I had to the bus to the house and that was a problem. Ja, my wife was with me, but I had the baggage with me. En onderweg heb ik een paar keer moeten op een muur gaan zitten in een voortuin, omdat ja. dat het niet meer ging. En ik ben thuis gekomen. Ik heb me in de zetel gezet en ik ben bewusteloos gevallen. We chose to go with the Percival bioprosthesis. During this procedure, we will obviously remove completely the diseased native aortic valve. And after that. Normally, in traditional bioprosthesis, we have to start with placing several sutures, separate sutures, to get a new valve implanted, inserted into the correct position. But the main advantage of this device is that it can be deployed immediately without any suturing to be done, mm -hmm. which saves you a lot of time, it can easily save you 30 to 45 minutes of time during the operation. And since this is the time when the heart is arrested, when the heart is li lying still, this is an important element for the patient that this period, this phase of the operation is as short as possible. I think it really improves post-operative recovery in these, and certainly in these elderly and more fragile patients. Dus die revalidatie, ja, ik heb mij wat kalm gehouden natuurlijk, maar uh, dat is vloeiend verlopen, zonder problemen. En ik heb daar nooit meer iets van gevoeld. Ik kan mijn gras afrijden, af, hè, zonder, zonder problemen. Uh, trap op gaan, trap af gaan, dat is, dat, ik voel daar niets van. Ik voel niks, ik heb geen hart. <laughs> So during the follow-up, we saw this patient back at six months after the operation. And at uh, about one and a half year after the operation. And uh, since then, he has been in, in active follow-up with his uh, cardiologist without uh, any special issues. I feel me only veilig and I feel me good. I feel me uitstekend. I would like to end with saying, for all what er gepresteerd is. Dank u wel.